hello guys you welcome to another series uh, which is actually going to be for the management of queues and contract and in today's video is going to be the very first of this particular series so um, i'm going to be treating uh, how to create and maintain queues now queues is in microsoft dynamics crm is a, a container that actually stores work items um, that a particular user wants to work on so how do we get to queues now, um, to get to queues, you go, you, uh, it's actually from the service work area. So we go to the service work area and then you see the queues here. So in today's video, we'll, we'll kind of like identify what a system queue looks like and what a personal queue also looks like. And we're going to talk about how to create a queue and how to add uh, work items like the case and activities to a queue. We're also going to treat out these or remove items from the queue and the last of it will be how to manage queue item details. So we're going to identify or describe what a system and personal queues are. Okay, so now we're in the um, queues view and uh, this actually shows us the, um, the view about the queues. So the default view is actually items I'm working on and that gives us the list of records in the particular queue that I'm working when you have a queue with the uh, less or greater than that shows you that is a default uh, personal queue and you know the 15 minutes nugget you know is actually the name of the org and when I mean the way Microsoft Dynamics works like you know from the org uh, when you have an org, uh, organization Automatically, a team is is good is will be created. I mean, a business, a default business unit will be created for that, and of course, a team automatically will be created for that business unit, which is going to be the same name as the organization, and that is why you have this because for every team you have and for every user that you create, automatically there is a default uh, personal view, uh, personal queue. Sorry, uh, that is that the system actually creates. So for here, we this is uh, a team personal queue and this is serum admin which is the user here that I'm using to actually uh, to connect to this particular uh, Microsoft Dynamics that is also another personal default queue for the user now we have all the uh, queues like you have other views kind of like to all queues and all public queues and the queues I'm a member of so how do we generate a system queue we're going to generate a system queue right now we're going to create a system queue um, and from there, we're going to use the system system queue to actually uh, explain one or two things. Now, another uh, difference between personal queue and a, a system queue is this: a personal queue, like I said earlier, is automatically created by Microsoft Dynamics for every user or for every team you create. Uh, which means, if you route, uh, I, um, if you assign a work item, so you assign a case to uh, a particular user, it's automatically being assigned to or route to the, the personal key of the user now which means for that particular personal queue the person the person that actually has the queue is the only one that has visibility to the, to the work item now if you are looking for you know a particular key where the the work items you're going to have there is going to be visible to a group of people then that is where you're going to be thinking of a system queue and how do we create a system queue now we do that if you have the right privilege you go to the settings and then you go to the business uh, uh, service management and from service management you're going to look for queues so we're going to create a, a queue right now um, now uh, the default view we have here is my active queues we can also change this to active queues or queues we do not have a system view like I said earlier whatever you I mean the queue name that you see with uh, bracket I mean it's a less and greater than is are actually personal queues now we're going to create a new queue now which is going to be a system queue and now we have the new queue form opened so now we're going to create we're going to create something like say we're going to call it tier one so we can say it's public or it's private so we're going to make it as public and you can here type the incoming email it is not a must though but if you put in the incoming email the advantage of that is you can have you know a email coming to uh, to that email being you know automatically uh, 
routing the uh, the work item to this particular queue. So we're going to leave that uh, blank, and of course, the description is what we actually tell more about your queue, what the queue is you know all about. So uh, we're going to leave you know what is now mandatory. We're going to leave them. Can go ahead and just click save. Okay, now it's been saved, and just to quickly explain one thing again, if you look down here, you see that the members is actually saying that the public queues are visible to all users. So because we've made this public, so what that means is this particular queue is visible to every user, which means if you can, if you route a particular work item in this particular queue, all users of the of Microsoft Dynamics are able to see the work item in the queue. But if you make it private, this is where you can now specify the members of that particular queue, more like restricting or giving access to those that are meant to have access to uh, to the queue. So now we've created um, this particular queue with a min minimum um, uh, requirement. So we can then go back uh, to our view, to service. Um, and again, remember, we can, we, if you want to go back, we can go to the, you know, since, since this is Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2016, you can make use of the recent uh, activity that will actually show you the recent, either the recent views you've, you, you've worked on or the recent records. So we're going to utilize that the new um, functionality with Microsoft Dynamics 2016. So we're going to go back to the queue, which is the items I'm working on, which is the view that we were looking at. Before we try to before we try to create um, uh, a new queue. So now, if we try to ch uh, change the queue, so we should be able to see the queue we just created. So we have the tier one that we created is there. So we can select this, and of course it's empty, which means we don't we do not have anything in the queue. So that shows us how to create a queue. Then the next thing is how do we add cases or work items or like or activities. To a part to to a queue, so we're going to use this queue that we've created, which is tier one queue. We're going to you know try and add a case to this queue. Now we're going to go and um, you know we we're going to go to uh, the same service work area, and then we try and open up um, or route or us. I mean, move a, um, a case to the queue. Okay, now so this is the active cases view. So we're going to like assume we want to assign. Um, I mean, had this to a queue, so this particular record. So if we can do that right from the view page, we can add to a queue, or we can just open the particular record, and from the record itself, we can also add uh, to a queue. So if we do that, we have the opportunity to choose the queue we want to add this particular case to. So we're going to select, look for the tier one and then we have that now what has happened now you see that nothing has changed anyway this is just to add this particular case to the queue we had so which means it's given a visibility to whoever is meant to be working on any case that goes to tier one queue it gives the visibility to that to the group of people to be able to work on this particular case so if we now go back to we're going to make use of the um, the recent we're going to go to the items I'm working on which is the queue. Uh, we're going to change to tier one again, and now you realize that it's still showing no records available. The reason why that is because the upper the main view is actually is items I'm working on. The fact that the queue the item is being assigned or moved to the queue doesn't mean I'm working. On the, on the item. Like I said earlier, items I'm working on are item I'm currently working on. So if I go to items available to work on, we should see that here. So which means nobody is actually working on this particular item. I can select these and uh, and then click on, on pick. So when I select pick, what that means is that this is going to assign this work for me to work on. And it's going to remove the item from the queue. So I'm going to leave it as no and click on pick. Now this is no more in in this view. That doesn't mean that it's no more in the queue. It's still in the queue, but it's no more in the items 
and they're available to work on so if i change back to items i'm working on i see the queue i mean the sorry i see the item being shown here so that is how it works with queues like you know if you want to work on item like as well release this particular like to release means that i want to um, I, I don't want to work on it anymore. I want it to be released back to you know items that are available to work on. So if I click on release, that will make the item to be available. If I switch back to the it to the view for the items available to work on. So I see it here. So other people can pick on it. So at the time when I actually pick that work, which means I'm working on it, we're working on uh, so that particular work item will not be available to everybody so everybody will see that well someone else is actually working on it so that is all about this uh, you know how and i mean that is we're all also about that. now gonna treat like um how to remove items from a queue and here we have items i'm working on uh, which we don't have anything so if we change this back to items i will be able to work on we have this particular work item now this particular work item is still in the queue but if we don't want it to be in, in the queue, what we need to do is to remove. So we click on remove and that will take it out of the queue. So which means the, the item is no more visible from the queue level. So it's no more in the queue. Then the last um, topic, uh, the last part of this uh, video that I want to treat is how do we work on um work item how do we manage the queue item the queue item details um we're gonna try and we're gonna go back to the um to the case and we try and add another uh, case to the let's just select this and then we're gonna add this to the queue still to the um, same queue we have And then we go to go to tier one Q items available to work on this. So you will select this, you will click on Q item details. That will open up information about the Q item. Now this is not opening up the case itself this is opening up the key item so this is more like giving us the key item details so key item is more like a, a pointer to the main record we're talking about so this is the um key item details and here you can see the key um that the actual item belongs to the q item is this particular case and work by which is um, empty so at this point what that tells us we can as well you know assign this we can say you know we can more like you know rather than you come into the queue and say i want to you know when you pick the the, the, the work item automatically is being assigned to you can assign this to you know i can say i want to you know assign someone else work by sarim trainer and that keys is the time it enters the queue and this is the time it's being modified so you can this is what you can do to the details and then you save this and close when you do that you realize that the item is no more available to work on and if i even go to the items i'm working on it's not going to be there why because I'm not CRM trainer, I'm CRM admin. So if I log in as CRM trainer, or if I'm a user as a CRM trainer, I will see that on the items I'm working on. Thank you very much for your time. And please stay tuned for the next lesson, which is gonna be how to create contract, which is the second video under the series of managed queues and contract. Thank you very much for your time and please subscribe. Bye-bye.